Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, Wendy's got you covered with all of the juiciest hot topics. And from Inside Edition, Deborah Norville is here, talking all the hottest headlines. Plus, we'll show you how to get the latest celebrity fashion trends for less. Now, here's Wendy! Yeah! <laughs> yes! But, ah, oh, thanks for watching. Welcome to the circus. I am your ringmaster. Say hello to my partners in crime. Studio audience, my co-host. I'm doing great. Let's get started. It's time for hot topic. For the next hour, we will entertain you. Suzanne, your tag is showing in the back of your skirt. I see that's a Wendy Williams uh, design from HSN. Yes, it is HSN. a Wendy Williams design. Fantastic. I like your blouse Thank and I you. like your skirt. I love how it ties. Thank you. And I love the everything. I, I love the feel. Thank and, you. Yes, and, you're I, and I'm wearing the fit and flare. Yeah! Uh -huh. And, um, all this week, me and Suzanne are wearing, you know, my stuff. It's all leading up to Saturday. Um, at HSN, I will be uh, presenting to you from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And in advance, shout out to all the girls who are going to be in my studio. We're going to have a studio audience and everything. It's going to be like a show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Iggy Azalea has come out of the closet. <laughs> About her breast implants. <laughs> Just as juicy, though, because I don't know too many women who admit, you know, keep it real, real, um, and admit it. Everybody lies. Um, but when it's obvious, it's obvious. She revealed to Vogue magazine that she got breast implants four months ago. Yeah, there they are. Tasteful, though. That's a nice, tasteful size. Um, she said that, you know, her, her waist is like a size nothing and her, her behind is very large and the proportions were just weird. She's tired of wearing underwire. She wanted to wear lingerie without underwire. And, you know, I, you know, I have to say as an implant girl, it's nice to go braless and be able to do that. I, I, I have to, I have to say, you know, um, braless is sometimes very freeing for a woman. My problem with Iggy talking about the breast implants is what, so when are you going to, to your butt implants? <laughs> Ray Charles can see that your cakes are fake. Are you serious? I wonder why she would admit to one and not the other. Here's my theory. I was thinking about this while I was getting dressed. And I said, well, you know, she's uh, a rapper, and rap um, is, is more of a black people sport than a white people sport, if you'll agree. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm thinking that in order for her to be ingratiated amongst, you know, the rap community, uh, having a big, giant booty is uh, very impressive. So, that, so, you know, black people can say, oh, well, she's like one of us. Except, <laughs> except, except she's not. And I know there's such thing as a natural big booty, you know, uh, Suzanne and I, that, that, that is not us. No, nope, that's not us. <laughs> and, it, and they will remain flat. It's fine. Uh-huh, that's right. They're easy to clean when they're yes. small. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> but can you, can you see that this is a fake butt? Yes. Do you see the before picture? Yes. So who's she fooling? I, I don't know. I, I think that also, um, 
butt, uh, getting breast, breast implants these days seems to be more acceptable than getting butt implants. Even, not just Iggy, but for the girls who get butt implants, I think that very few of you cop to it because it's, there's something about, see, a butt is something you can work out and get bigger. Breasts, you can't do anything with them. You know, they, they are what they are. So I guess it maybe you're trying to impress us with your athleticism, like you do lunges all the time, or <laughs> you, you, you know, you know what I mean. Um, even though butt implants are the biggest plastic surgery um, operation that surgeons are doing, it's been that way for a couple of years. You know, does anybody in here have butt implants? <laughs> if, if if you did, would you tell us? I'm like the only person that cops to plastic surgery. I don't understand. Who are you fooling? You know what? I would rather, I would rather have fake boobs than a fake attitude. That's all I'm saying. Let's talk about Bethany Frankel. She was on Andy Cohen the other night, and her interview might have her in legal trouble. Oh. Stay close to the TV, Jason, because I got something for you, too. <laughs> Thinking you're fooling somebody. <laughs> uh, remember, Bethany is going through this bitter divorce with her husband, Jason Hoppy. The divorce is not done yet. Jason's attorneys uh, say that um, there were some troubling private life things that she spilled while talking to um, Andy. And so they're exploring their legal options. Oh. Well, I must tell you, I didn't see the interview on account of I was asleep. <laughs> but I watched it, you know, um, while I was getting my hair and makeup done, because I wanted to see exactly what she said, you know? She didn't say, Jason, she didn't say anything. What, what, what is, what's the one thing that we were saying that maybe she said? Oh, I know what it was. When, when a woman holds the purse and a man makes less money, it's a lot of trouble. Well, but it's a given that she holds the purse. Jason, you were a fitness trainer and then you become a pharmaceutical rep and I, or executive. And I know that they make a lot of money, but not more money than her. So, so what did she say? Jason, you know what? Here's the thing about you. <laughs> when you met her on Housewives... We all thought that you were a lovely, ha handsome man with two great parents from humble beginnings in the woods of Pennsylvania. But the longer this divorce drags on, the more I'm seeing Jason's like the worst kind of guy. You know why? Because he fools us with that niceness and that straight back and gorgeousness. And then he comes in and stabs us with, with, all, with all kinds of meanness, you know? And Bethany, you attract who you are. That's all. I'm just saying. Uh, anyway, you shouldn't have. You should have never married on TV. You should have dated more. You should have probably dated a longer period of time. To, because if you date somebody for a long period of time and not on TV, because on TV, everybody tries to fool the cameras, you know? But off TV, you know, and in the private life, and if you dated him for like three years, you would have seen his sneaky ugliness, Bethany. And, and maybe you all would have just dated or broken up as opposed to what's going on right now. And poor Bryn, the little girl, who looks just like her father. Like, no matter, no matter what Bethany does, every time she looks in that little girl's face, all she sees is Jason. <laughs> anyway, Bethany's single again. You know, she's not with the boyfriend. Um, so she probably, th this is the boyfriend. People said that he was using her. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know anything about that. Uh, but I know that she, Bethany's the type that probably likes to be in control in a relationship. You know, like Madonna. <laughs> she needs like a Guy Ritchie. Because Guy Ritchie, <laughs> Guy Ritchie, Madonna's ex-husband Guy Ritchie. He didn't put up with her stuff. And a lot of times, if, like, you're a big mouth, bossy girl, you need somebody with a bigger mouth and a little more bossy just, you know, you know to keep you in line. Do you know? Anyway, uh, good luck with all of yous. Yeah. What a mess. <laughs> Miley Cyrus is back with Patrick Sch uh, Schwarzenegger. Oh. <laughs> well, here's the thing. 
We don't have proof that he cheated. However, he was very flirty, flirty with two different girls during spring break. Here's girl number one. And then girl number two is, remember, I was telling you, his college sweetheart. Yes, his ex. And they're at spring break, and Miley's nowhere to be seen. So, in my opinion, in my mind, something went down. Yeah. With not just one, but both of them. But look, apparently, Miley has forgiven Patrick, and they were spotted for the first time since these pictures surfaced. Entertainment Tonight got the photo, and they gave it to us. Thanks, Entertainment Tonight. They, uh... They went to a sushi restaurant. Hot Topics found out. They sat on the patio. He ordered the California roll. <laughs> California roll is so sushi one -on -one, uh, 101, you know what I mean? You got a little crab in there, a piece of cucumber, the rice and the thing. You, you, I would have just... I would have pictured him to be a little bit more exotic in sushi. Who orders California roll? <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> so there they are. And now, I don't think... Uh, see, I'm not happy that they're back together. And I'm going to tell you why. I don't think that young people need to deal with problems that we older people are stuck dealing with. You know, like, you know, when we have kids or, you know, we've been in long-term relationships. We, we have to deal with a lot. When you're, when you're under 27 years old, you shouldn't have to put up with any crap in a relationship. <laughs> Nothing. <clears throat> You know, it, it saddens me that, you know, she's only 22 and she's deal, dealing with, you know, outwardly uh, suspect, suspect cheating from him. You know, that, that's, that should be a problem that older people have to deal with because that's an older people's... Anyway, um, <laughs> we'll be following this story because that's what we do here. <laughs> Two of the stars at, of, of, of the show Empire. <laughs> yeah, no. Now what are you going to watch tonight at 9 o'clock? <laughs> right? <laughs> it, it's okay. You can get a good night's sleep. <laughs> anyway, may, might be hooking up in real life. <laughs> Boo Boo Kitty and Andre <laughs> are reportedly dating off... <laughs> They're reportedly dating. Um, they were spotted at a wedding, and they were getting very, very cozy. I don't have the picture for you, because the picture was too expensive. <laughs> you know? We pay for pictures here at Hot Topics, and sometimes I would just rather describe things to you or just, you know, and save that money for, you know, another pair of shoes here. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> anyway. They went to a wedding. They, they were very cozy. Now, you know how it is when you're an actor. I know you, even if you're not an actor, you read, you know. They're on the set for, like, 12 and 15 hours a day, you know, 20 hours a day. You know, you're sequestered with your trailers. <laughs> and your spouse or your boyfriend's not there. <laughs> and you're with each other all day long, you and your actors. So it is natural that actors do fall for each other, Brad and, and Angelina style. However... <laughs> How is this going to work when they break up? Ooh. Now, I'm not assuming they're going to break up, but I'm uh, following the natural track of relationships. Things happen. She's like 31. He's like 32. She plays his stepmom, which make for interesting bedroom games in real life, right? Yeah. Who's your mommy? Who's your mommy? <laughs> anyway. Uh... I don't like love at the job, unless it's grandfathered in, you know. <laughs> like, like Suzanne and Brendan are married. Yeah. They met on the Rosie O'Donnell show. They, they're, yeah, they're married. They've been married for 100 years. 100 years. But, if, but you know what? If, attention staff. <laughs> if anybody here is doing anything, I don't want to know about it. <laughs> I don't want to know. And, uh, and I'm... Really, boys? <laughs> um, if I were Lee Daniels, I would call them in the office, Lee, 
call them in the office separately and let them both know. Okay, so now you are getting it on. <laughs> as soon as this is over, you better be able to carry on professionally speaking. <laughs> this is a hot show. <laughs> this is a hot show, but everyone's replaceable. I call it the Columbus Short effect. Everybody watches Scandal. Columbus Short's personal life became bigger than his private life. Or, or personal life became bigger than his character. And then, and there's a problem with that. So they fired Columbus Short. I have personal, uh, um, I've shared this with you before. Um, if you're new, uh, look, I have this ex-husband. <laughs> and, and he and I were co-workers at um, the radio station. And, but I was the DJ and my ratings were huge. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not saying that in a braggadocious way. I'm saying that in a way, let me tell you what happened, okay? So, his job wasn't as important to the radio station as my job was, okay? I worked from six to 10 at night. So I wasn't there during the day. And I didn't see a lot of coworkers and stuff. And I pressed my own buttons. I'm in the room by myself with an intern. It wasn't like a big operation. Um, and he was here in New York. And he was bad mouthing me to all the coworkers, saying horrible things. And I got called in to the general manager's office with other big wigs, you know, that were in there. They let me know he is crapping all over your reputation. What do you want us to do? No, 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 no. Yeah, in other words, fire him. I said, nope, let him breathe. Yeah, that's the kind of woman I am. Let him breathe. And I never had to say anything bad about him because he was doing it to himself by talking about me. Okay? And now I'm on TV. Yay! <laughs> you know, I know the... Hello, The View. Hi, I know you're getting ready for your show. You've got like 45 minutes. Hey, The View, I know you do hot topics, but would you ever talk about rich homie Quan? <laughs> That's the difference between our hot topics. <laughs> do you even know who rich homie Quan is? Rich Homie Kwan is a rapper. He's big in our house. Okay. Uh, he had a run-in with the cops. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> um, Rich Homie Kwan reportedly went to a nightclub, and he was told that he had to wait in line. Wait, hold on. It gets better. <laughs> I stained my dress. It's okay. I have a line. I can get another. <laughs> No, look. Rich homie Kwan had to wait in line. He allegedly told security guard, do you know who I am? <laughs> the worst line you could ever use on anyone, you know? Anyway, and then he goes, um, he goes, and Flo Ride is in there waiting for me. The security guards weren't having it. Rich homie Kwan allegedly punched him in the nose, punched him in the mouth, and fled on a speedboat. <laughs> I, just, I, love, I love the story. He, he fled on a speedboat. <laughs> Rich homie Kwan, you've got the best name in rap. Thank you for that story. <laughs> So, Love & Hip Hop Hollywood is losing their biggest star. Oh. I'm talking about Ray J. Oh. He's quitting the show. Now, you know, I've got love for Ray J. <laughs> but he's saying that he's quitting the show because his, his relationship with his girlfriend, his co-star on the show, Princess Love, is suffering by being on TV. <laughs> so he wants to, oh, please. Ray J, you are an actor. <laughs> Okay, Ray J. This is the same girl that you pushed in a pool fully clothed on national TV. Ray, Ray, 
Ray J is the type of guy, I, shout out to the whole Norwood family, but Ray J, I'm gonna tell you how I think of you. <laughs> Personally speaking, I think that Ray J is always up to something. Like he tries to fool you with that, you know, Brandy's little brother. You know, he's cute and he's very mannerable and he loves his mom and respects his dad. But it, in reality, Ray J is like a Jason Hoppy. Like, like the worst who ever did it, in my mind, in my mind. Um, anyway, so Ray J is quitting the show to save his relationship. I don't know what's going to happen with the show. I don't watch it. Actually, my boys told me that he, he got pushed in the pool. I don't watch the hip hop one. I mean, the Hollywood one. I'm waiting for the um, Jocelyn one to come back. And it, it, yeah, uh, yeah, that one, yeah. But the real reason in my mind that Ray J is quitting the show is because he's got other projects. Do you know he, he produces Hollywood Hillbillies? And I've never seen that, um, but I see the ads like when I'm reading my magazines. Um, and he's also shopping around a cooking show. Oh. No, not starring him, starring some other people, but you know, like he's, he's bossing up the situation behind the scenes. He's making us believe that he's got a heart and that he's quitting for Princess Love. <laughs> you know, in reality, Princess Love, I hope that you're not falling for this. <laughs> it's very awkward to call you Princess Love, Princess Love. <laughs> anyway, good luck. You know I've got love for Ray J. Yeah. Speaking of Ray J, his big sister Brandy just got a new job. She's gonna be playing Roxy Hart in, on Broadway in Chicago. Which I think is perfect. It's so perfect. When I heard about this, I was like, please don't let her be playing the role that I played, which is Matron Mama Morton, only because she's... You know, I didn't like my experience at Dancing with the Stars. I've already told you that, but I loved being on Broadway. I, the roar of the crowd, the live audience. I didn't like the preparation because it was a lot of lines to remember and I was intimidated. And you, you have to sing every word prop. I sang two songs and, and I was on it for seven weeks. And, and um, one of them I sang by myself and the other one was a duet with a seasoned thespian. And, um, but I, re I really enjoyed being there, but I was hoping that Brandy wasn't gonna play my role because the part is not big enough for her big voice and her talent. So good for you, Brandy. You're gonna have a great time. You're familiar with Broadway though, Brandy. Keep clapping, everybody. More show for you. Aside from this show, one of my other favorite shows on TV is Inside Edition with the lovely Deborah Norville, and she's here today, and she's gonna talk hot topics. And what I like about Deborah is that she shoots pow pow, straight from the hips. So don't go far. It's a top notch Wendy with a perfect dose of hot topics. Tens across the bar. Plus, She's entertainment royalty, Regina King. And we're finding out about her new series, American Crime. Girl, how you doing? Tomorrow on an all-new Wendy. Our first guest just celebrated her 20th year as one of my favorite uh, host of my, one of my favorite shows, Inside Edition. Please welcome back to our show, the fabulous Deborah Norville. I'm not gonna break it. If I break it, do I get it? No. no. It's just a little off centered. Oh, I had to fix thanks. it. Thanks. Well, you. so is this me? show. <laughs> <laughs> Always a little off kilter. Deborah, Inside Edition. Love it. Thank you. Watch I know you watch. I, I do. You send me messages all the time about stuff that we do. I love Inside Edition. Um, it's been on for 27 years. Yeah. And you've been there for 20. 
I mean, I'm so, I'm so blessed. Yes. And it's because you guys watch, so thank you so much. How do you keep the show fresh? Because you were on at a time when A Current Affair, remember all those types of shows were on, yeah. but you are a survivor. Well, I think it's a couple of things. I think the show has survived. Um, one, because we have really smart people who are making the decisions. And we've evolved. You know, it's like a dinosaur. If you yeah. don't change, you know where you're going to end up. Yes. You're going to be somebody's, you know, gas tank as oil. And the other thing I think is... The attention span of our audience, you know this so well, is like this. Yes. And, and we have sped up the show. We do a lot more different stories. Uh -huh. And we don't, like, belabor the point. We figure you already know what's going on. Yes. We're going to just tell you a little something that you didn't know about it. Yes. And then move on to the next thing. And it works. And I like, I like the um, transgender person that you guys have reporting. Oh, yeah. I think it's, like, it's so fresh. Do we have a picture of her? Zoe Tur. Zoe Tur. Zoe Tur. Used to yeah. be Chopper Bob Tur. Yep. Used yep. to be Chop Chopper Bob. <laughs> Yeah, I think that, that that speaks to exactly where society is now, yeah. that, that, you know, acceptance and inclusiveness is so important. Um, speaking of uh, transgender, were you shocked at, at um, Bruce? Bruce Jenner? Yeah. Not really, um, because I think there have been so many little hints in the, the magazines and stuff that something was going on. For decades. On. For a very long time. And I think, you know, the Bruce Jenner story, the Zoe Tour thing, you know, Zoe came and worked with us, you know, for um, the February Sweeps book. And I just think it's television has this opportunity, whether it's, you know, Bruce Jenner um, going through his transition, um, Zoe Tour coming out and, you know, being a transgendered reporter for us on Inside Edition. I think when television features these people in normal ways, and, and Bruce may not be doing a reality show because it might be too wacky and weird. Right. And I respect his choice not to, but Zoe coming on, being just a regular professional mm -hmm. reporter, it's like we're the Emory board. We take the rough edges off what could have been a really difficult issue yes. for people and just make it human and normal. Yes. And natural. All right. Let's talk, let's talk Brian Williams. Oh. You know, the, the scandal has erupted. Lester Holt has managed to hold the ratings, though, in the evening news. He's doing very well. Yes. I'm very happy for him. He is. Um, do you think that Brian will be back in six months? Do you, what do you think about his credibility as a newsman? I do not think he will be back. I do not think they can put him on the evening news. Brian is a wonderful man. There is no one more upset about what has happened mm -hmm. um, to himself than him and yeah. then everybody else. You know, it's a horrible thing, all self-inflicted. Here's the deal. I'm Brian Williams. You're Hillary Clinton. We're doing the interview about the emails and the email server. How is he going to challenge her right. on, well, I meant well. Oh, gee, it was an honest mistake. Really? You know, you want Dana Carvey, the church lady, yes, doing it, yes. um, doing no, that interview. I, I agree with you. I, for whatever reason, I just expected you to say, you know, because you come from the Today Show and, yeah. you know, hard-hitting news and whatnot, I expected you to say, yes, he has a chance. Because I personally think his credibility is gone. Like, he doesn't need to be on anybody's news. Well, I don't, I don't think he'll be on anybody's news. I do think he will have a career. He's a gifted communicator. Mm -hmm. He is funny as hell. I think there is a future for him. I just don't think it's going to be sitting, sitting behind the desk uh, on the evening news. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Donald Trump, again. <laughs> oh, come on. We love Donald. Uh, adore him. He, but he, you know, he teases us with this presidential um, thing. Sure. Every, you know, every, every time it comes years. around. Uh, they say that he is not going to re-sign his contract for Celebrity Apprentice, because if you're going to be a running person, you sure. can't have a show. You can't be on TV. Um, will he or won't he? <laughs> okay, here's the deal. Let's look at the timing. I love Donald. He is the best. He wrote the foreword to our anniversary book for Inside Edition's big 25th anniversary. Uh, you got to love the hair, the teeth. He's always tanned. He's fabulous. Yes. His everything Donald does is the greatest. Yes. And, and this might be the greatest thing, too. <laughs> Because look at the timing, Wendy. A celebrity apprentice had just ended. Lisa Gibbons won the whole Shabille, and right, that was right. great. And Donald was all over television as the show was ending. Right. There's nothing going on. Donald needs something to do. Attention. And let's say he's got a new building that's going up. There's a period of time between when you get the building permit and you can start building the hole, uh -huh. right? You know, yes. you got to dig the hole before you build the building. Right. So there's this probably a lull in Donald's life right now, and this is a great way to fill it. But, <laughs> but no, seriously, but I think Donald does a good thing. I think he speaks to issues in a way that regular people like, oh, yeah, 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 you know, and, and, and people yes. like that. Yeah. And if he helps the debate and helps focus the issues, uh -huh. whether he really runs or not, yeah. just because he had, look, you work in TV, just because he hasn't signed his contract yet, yes. doesn't, doesn't mean, mean he won't sign exactly. it later. Oh, Donald, we love you here. We love him. Um, you know... <laughs>
Deborah, I had no idea that you were so close with the late Joan Rivers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I she mean, was a really good friend. Oh, my God, look at that picture. I, I, I love your hair. Neither of us looked like that, by the way, <laughs> at the time of her death. Um, wow. But, no, you were so close that you yeah. guys would travel together. Yeah. And, like, you were girlfriends. We were, we were really good pals. In fact, um, it's funny, that picture was probably the early 90s, and um, my daughter was born in 1997, and Joan was invited to the christening, uh -huh. and she came to the lunch afterwards, and it was December, and she walks up to my house, and the driver comes with her, and she has this gorgeous sable coat on, and she hands her coat to the driver to keep in the car. I'm like, Joan, I am offended. You won't put your coat in my house? She said, I don't know who you've got here. <laughs> Joan's funeral, there were people who spoke, but you spoke, and you spoke the longest. Like, did I? Well, that's what they say. Oh. I, I wasn't there. Um, it was an amazing, it was everything Joan would have wanted. Well, I mean. What would she say about fashion police now? She would be so upset. She would be so upset. Um, she created this genre. Nobody was talking about what people wore until yeah. Joan started doing it. She created the industry, and people make a lot of money based on what she created. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I think she would fault the executives. The network suits, look, talent is mercurial. People have opinions and issues, and backstage stuff happens. Their job is to keep them civilized and together and keep that show on the air and somebody dropped the ball and it wasn't Joan and it wasn't Melissa it's somebody that none of us are ever going to know who they are yeah. and I think that's really unfortunate and Joan would be oh just wait she'll have she'll get a revenge she'll, she'll find her way <laughs> even from up there it's always nice to see you thank you so much I'll watch you again later on this afternoon on Inside Edition you guys uh, it airs weekdays check your local listings clap it up again for Deborah Norvell and Ask Wendy is next Hey, Wendy, my name is Akeisha. How you doing? <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> How can so, I help? about nine months ago, one of my good friends got a divorce, and recently, her, she's moved on. She's in a new relationship. She's happy. Her uh, husband, ex-husband has been reaching out to me, and I'm kind of interested. He's really nice looking. Wait, guys. Does you he know, have a good should... job? Yes. He's a looker. I don't care. So what do you think I should do? Okay, here's what you should do. And I'm going I'm to leave it up to you. I'm going to give you two scenarios. You know, you can reach back to him and start getting something going on, but be prepared that that will be your ex-friend forever. And, and, and after he breaks your heart, you cannot go back to her. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. So, or you can leave him alone and let him know he's off limits. Okay. You know? Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Sorry, girl. Okay. 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 <laughs> how you doing? Hi, I'm... How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well, thanks. How can I help? I'm Linda. Um, my husband and I have been married to 20 years. He... It's his second marriage. Mm -hmm. He uh, recently... I've caught him kept sending inappropriate emails to a woman he had had an affair with on his first wife. Oh. Shut he, up. Yeah. Oh. And he says, that, you know, that um, it was just texting or sexting, and um, I just kicked him out, and so what do I do? He wants me to forgive him. What do I okay, do? wait, Linda, 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 Linda. <laughs> Tell me some of the content of, because you said they were inappropriate. Tell me um, some. Kind of like he said he would so, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, that type of stuff, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, was, so even if it hasn't gone down, it's about it, to go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What should you do? Yeah. He wants me to forgive him. Do you love him more than... Do you love him enough to fight for this? Mm, I loved him, but... <laughs> but uh, Linda, but I think if it was anybody else, but it's because it was yeah, the same yeah, woman, uh -huh, and he history. promised me he would never, ever do that again. Do you love him enough to fight? No, no, not... Then, not, then, not, no. then tell him to go rent an apartment yeah, and yeah, the divorce yeah. is on. Yeah. Okay, I'm so Linda, I'm sorry. Okay. It's horrible. Oh... Up next, everybody, we're going to show you the latest celebrity fashion trends for less. Don't go far.
Hot Topics Monday you won't believe. Let's say it together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's the season's best makeup trends from Bobby Brown. Spring has sprung. Now it's time to have fun. Monday on an all-new Wendy. are always rocking the latest fashion trends on the street and on the red carpet. So here to show us how we can get that look for less, welcome fashion expert, Melissa Garcia. Yeah. Welcome to our show. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, what are your shopping tips for the celebrity trends? Okay, so to recreate a specific look, I think the best thing to do is shop online because it's so hard to look for something so specific in every store. You're going to be running around, and it's easy to search online. Uh -huh. So search for the stores that you want to spend that much money for, and then you can certainly look around and find it. And shipping's usually free these days, which yeah. is great. And so you can get the look for less. Okay, our first celebrity look that we're going to um, do for less is Kendall Jenner. Yeah. Uh, talk about this picture. Okay, so, I mean, who's hotter than Kendall right now? I mean, she's yeah. been on every runway. Yep. She looks amazing. I love how she has the camel coat kind of just draped over her shoulders, effortless, casual, but there's nothing casual about this coat. It's Stella McCartney. It's over $2,000. Yeah. We're not paying that. No, we're not paying that. Uh, yeah. All right, let's take a look at Arielle. She's from our studio audience. All of my models usually yep. are. Okay. And um, <laughs> that's it. That's amazing. You got it's, it. So what would you say if I told you this entire look costs less than half of one of Kendall's shoes. No, I, I would say you're, you're just a liar. <laughs> I'm not a liar. No, go I'm ahead. telling you the truth. So this jacket, $60 from Mango. Her little crop top, $25. And this is how you do a crop top. You don't want to show too much skin. Right. You have the pants are from ASOS. Her shoes, TJ Maxx. The whole look, $179.99 from Huge. Head to Toe. You nailed it. Thank you. You nailed it. Ariel, you look terrific. All right, our next celebrity look that we're going to take, Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> Our next celebrity look is uh, Jennifer Garner. Yes. Uh, let's, there she is. So here we have Is her. that a dress or a skirt and top? What it's a dress, but it's an expensive dress. So this is Roland Murray, and this dress is about $1,200. And, you know, to recreate this, and a black and white, again, a big trend that we're seeing. Mm -hmm. To recreate this, I broke it up, like you were saying, into a top and bottom. And I would have loved to have your line available because you wore a look just like that yesterday on the show. Yeah. Under, yeah. under 100 bucks. Under 100 bucks. bucks. Yep. Okay, let's bring out our model, Janine, and um, let's see her look for less. Yep, so here we have the it. The black and white dress. Yep, Perfect. so I broke it up. Yep. I did the top and the bottom, so it, you have more versatility with it. You yes. can wear it more than just basically a dress. The top's $17, the bottom's from Zara, $70. The shoes are from Tahari, $39.99. The whole look, $116. That's the look. Yep, top Again, to bottom. nailed it. Thanks, Janine. Thank you. Our next celebrity look that we're going to do for less is Rihanna. Let's look at Rihanna. Rihanna. Okay. I love this look. I mean, how fabulous is she? Fabulous. She is such, I love her. She's a rock star. Not everyone can pull this off. I mean, she certainly can. This is actually a jumpsuit, and she has a blazer and a fur stole. I called the company to see how much this was. They would not even give me a price that's that expensive. Price upon I'm, request. Exactly. So this is possibly in the tens of thousands, including this fur, for sure. If the, yes. Oh. And this is expensive. Add in her Christian Louboutins for nine twenty-five. Christian Dior little pearl earrings. Yes. This is expensive. Expensive. Yes. Well, we're not paying that. Uh, Saba's here, and she's going to show us the look for less. Come on out, Saba. I can't wait so to see So here we have Saba. And to that's, me, it. that's it. So to make this look a little bit more wearable, I went for a blusher pink instead of such a bubblegum pink yes. because it makes it more wearable for the everyday woman. And instead of a fur stole, I put a little cropped um, jacket, which is faux fur. Yeah. Yeah, it's easier to wear. Stole is glamorous, but who's going around to the supermarket in a stole? <laughs> well. So yeah, hey, you never know. You could certainly do <laughs> And yeah, so we have her in the, sh the pink shoes. Uh, the look is elongates when you do all one color. She looks great. The and shoes, I love these how shoes. How fun are those? Those are Isaac Mizrahi. Those were from TJ Maxx. We got them. They were $70. Beautiful. The whole look, $200. Thanks, Thanks Saba. Head to toe. I love this look for less than. Okay, so fun. Let's look at Jennifer Lopez. Everything that she wears is expensive. I mean, How she much is, is this just dress? like, <laughs> hit me with it. It's, her dress is $13.70. Her shoes are $600. So just for two pieces, the shoes and a dress, we're almost at $2,000. Okay. Yep. Well, let's take a look at Amber. She's doing the look for less. Yep, Come so on here out, we Amber. have Amber. She's in a great BB dress. Yes. yes. Just under $200, the whole look. Perfect. Done and Thank done. Thank you so much. Shout out, models. Melissa.
Thank you for Thank this. Thank you. Thanks for Very having me. Very much. For more so information fun. on these looks, log on to wendyshow.com. Pop quiz is next. <laughs> Want to be my next co-host? Okay, good. Go to wendyshow.com, request your free tickets, and be a part of my studio audience. Make sure you dress to impress. I can't wait to see you. Welcome back. So, fabulous Miami Beach turns 100 this month, and to celebrate, we're giving away trips to lucky audience members. Miami Beach is celebrating with a 100-hour party. It's happening right now. If you're in the area, stop by and tell me what you see. <laughs> Gloria Estefan, Wyclef, Flo Rider, they're all performing. Okay, let's meet our player. Yeah. How you doing, Wendy? How you doing? Who are you? Where are you from? I'm Melissa from New York. Perfect, Melissa. Okay, Melissa, we've got for you, should you win, round-trip airfare for a five-night <laughs> stay at the Lowe's Miami Beach. <laughs> That would be you and a friend. Amazing. Okay. It's in the heart of South Beach, and um, guests can relax at the pool. You can get full-service spa. Your prize package is worth over $7,000. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, don't get too happy. Come over here. Okay. Cause, cause for, and don't help her, because she's not taking you. Okay. All right. Here's your, um, here's your question, okay. and it's going to be delivered by the one and only oh. Miami Beach Mayor, okay. Philip Levine. How you doing, Mayor? How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? I'm standing here in magnificent Miami Beach, right in front of our incredible lifeguard stands. These are iconic. Here's your question. Which journalist attended Miami Beach High School? A, Diane Sawyer. B, Barbara Walters. C, Robin Roberts. Good luck, and I hope to see all of you soon on gorgeous Miami Beach. Ooh. Don't tell her. Okay. Um, so I love Barbara Walters, so I'm going to say Barbara Walters. You're right! sunscreen essential gift bag for your trip. Enjoy yourself. Oh, Thanks for being here. Uh, who's that is next? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Joanne is from Butler, New Jersey. It's time to play Who's That? We're going to show you a celebrity picture. Don't help her. You have to unscramble it and tell me who it is, okay? Okay. And if you win, we got a prize for you. Thank you. All right, let's see the picture. Okay, who is this? All right, here's the hint. We talked about her in Hot Topics. She's a mom, and her daughter gets escorted to school with a bunch of security. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I know this, I know this. She's not white. Beyonce. Yes! Oh, yes! I'm exhausted. <laughs> I had a fabulous time today. Regina King stops by tomorrow, and we got you covered with all the latest juicy hot topics. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye. Yeah.